it's me, Kitty, with Coupon Divas, and in this week's episode, we're answering a reader challenge from Karen. Karen emailed me and she said, hey, Kitty, you've been telling us about all these really great deals on back to school supplies, but we were wondering how much would it cost you to buy just the school supplies for one of your kids? All right, so I have my back to school shopping list and I also have all the ads for this week and there's some really great deals. So let's go inside and see if we can uh, put together school supplies for one kid and see how much it's gonna cost us. I'm gonna try and stay under $15. So come on and follow me shopping and let's see if we can save some money. Come on. And if you remember, the challenge was to see if I can complete an entire school supply list for under $15. Let's see if I did it. I'll tell you in a minute, but let's go over some tips so you can take advantage of these great deals and get your school supplies really cheap too. My first tip would be to always carry your child's school supply list with you. That way, just fold it up and stick a copy of it in your purse. And when you're out, if you see something that looks like it's a really great deal, you can mark it off on a list. That way you know you have it and you can move on to the next thing, completing the list rather quickly. The next tip I have is to watch your Sunday ads for great deals. We saw some as early as the end of July and they've been every week progressively. There's different stuff at different stores. So you're gonna wanna every Sunday, look at these ads early and decide what stores you need to get to to get those great buys before they're gone. Okay, my third tip is to shop at more than one store. Don't try and get everything at one store. You're not gonna, not every store has everything that you're gonna need. If you look at the table, you'll notice that I've shopped at several stores just in this little purchase office. Depot, Walgreens, Target, Staples. So you're gonna wanna, like I said, make sure that you're just keeping your options open and taking from here and there all the best deals. And that way you'll really maximize your savings. Another thing you may want to do if it's in your budget is to stock up. If you find a really great deal, something that's a penny or a quarter or five cents, whatever, go ahead and grab a couple because you know usually the teachers are come January, they're asking you to send in more supplies because they've run out. So if you can, remember to stock up. Okay, and this tip is really important and it has to do more with maybe getting your backpack. Say you don't have it in your budget to get a brand new backpack, but you have last year's. Go ahead and use it because I'm telling you, watch those clearance sales. Within about one to three weeks of school starting, you'll find this backpack and this lunchbox and they're probably going to each be less than five dollars. You'd probably be able to pick them up for three if you waited, waited it out long enough. So clearance shopping is another great one. Pick up extras for stocking up and also pick up something that just really wasn't in the budget when school started. Okay, so for my second grader, we kind of splurged because he really wanted the uh, Mr. Lego Darth Vader stuff here for the backpack. So that was the most expensive thing in the purchase. The rest of the stuff was anywhere from a penny to a dollar, and we did get a couple of free items here as well. But uh, like I said, we were shooting for 15, but what did we spend? 1956. We came in a little over, but that was because we splurged on this backpack. You could get these backpacks right now. I think they're giving a free lunch box when you buy a backpack for $10 at Old Navy. There's also another great deal where they're pretty cheap at the Disney store and some other places. And if you've been following along in the newsletter, you would have gotten one for free a couple weeks back. There was one at Office Depot and at Staples in the previous week. So I think we did pretty good on this one. So when we move on to our fourth grader, I got a really great deal on this one because we did get the backpack for free a couple weeks ago at Staples. And then at Target yesterday, we were able to pick up a lunchbox and it's going to be free after I submit the rebate. So this is going to be a really great one. I know you're pretty excited. We got a lot of great stuff on the table. Her list is complete. And what did we spend? I feel like I'm on a game show. I always wanted to be. 909. I came in way under budget. Follow these great tips and you'll be really happy with the amount of money you saved this year on your back to school shopping. And if you did really great, drop me a line. Leave a comment below and let me know how you did because you know I love to read them. Thanks for watching this episode of Coupon Divas and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos. <laughs>